I love using a potato masher for anything. Did you hear that weird squirtle <laughs> noise? <laughs> This tomato soup is creamy, yet totally vegan, full of flavor, but only takes 15 minutes. How? This recipe comes from Kenji Lopez-Alt of the Serious Eats Food Lab uh, enterprise, <laughs> the books, the column, everything. In spite of all of the fancy things he's done, a 15 minute soup is the one he makes the most often. I'm trying to go as thinly as I possibly can. which is a fun challenge for me as someone whose knife skills are best described as rustic. Are you proud? Oh. <laughs> this is also a good moment to have a very sharp knife because as they say, the sharper your knife, the less you cry, especially when you're cutting it this many times, you're breaking up those onion cells a lot. So if you have a really dull knife, it's gonna just like bash all the things that make you cry out of the onion cells. One of those cool tricks for dispensing with garlic is to grate it on a microplane. See, it's just kind of grating it finely. This makes a much more garlicky substance than if you were to just chop it or mince it. I learned that the hard way after grating like a head of garlic and putting that all into one night's dinner. It was pretty toxic. So just keep that in mind, you're getting a very powerful amount of garlic here. Even though you're only cooking it for a few minutes, Kenji has these tricks for bringing a lot of body and thickness to the soup and creaminess, even though it's totally vegan. And one of them is to use white sandwich bread. I love how squishy white sandwich bread is. Okay, now my prep work is done. One way that Kenji builds a ton of flavor in the soup really, really fast is he cuts the onions and garlic really small, so they cook fast and release a lot of good stuff quickly. He also sizzles the dried oregano and the dried chili flakes in the oil with them all at once. No slow building of layers here. And within a couple of minutes, you have a ton of flavor and the kitchen smells incredible. Wow. What? Just what? Yeah. <laughs> onions are softened now. A bunch of canned tomatoes going in. And now the bread goes in too. Kenji says you can do this with a potato masher or a whisk. If you didn't have one of those, you could just kind of like mush up the tomatoes with your hands before dumping them in. But I love using a potato masher for anything. Did you hear that weird squirtle <laughs> noise? <laughs> Okay, I think I need to add water now and bring it up to a proper boil again. Two cups of water makes you think that soup is gonna lose a lot of flavor, right? But it's got so much that's already built in there. You also might think that it would be kind of watery, but that's what the bread is for. That's what the olive oil is gonna be for. Five minutes of simmering and this is ready to blend. Really important, whenever you have these crazy hot liquids that you're blending, take off this part of the lid so that steam can escape. Otherwise you could have a scary volcanic explosion of hot liquids. You don't wanna seal in the steam because then it will wanna get out as you're blending. Cover it with a towel to protect your hand and your face. No? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's gonna really make it creamy without any cream is blending in some olive oil as the blender is running. It's gonna emulsify, the bread's gonna help it emulsify and the whole thing's gonna be luscious and creamy. So the difference in color between this is what we started with, but now that it's blended with the olive oil streamed in and the bread all blended in there, it's lighter and creamier looking. That's it, the soup is done. Look at how thick and creamy that is for not having any sort of cream-like thing in it. Mm. 
That is so cozy. It has so much full flavor and it's super rich and thick in spite of only taking 15 minutes. It really makes no sense at all. So for more genius recipes like this that take 15 minutes or so that you can bust out of the pantry anytime, be sure to like and subscribe and check back next week. <laughs>